Yo, this is Tim Stevenson. Yo, this is Tim Stevenson of the Tim Stevenson Show. Um, and it's been a crazy week. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if anybody's tuned in to any of my little blurbs on Facebook or social media or YouTube, but um, I lost my beautiful 72-year-old mother this past Thursday morning. She had um, like a blood embolism, some sort of a, an event with her heart and her blood and the inability to... to um, I guess, um, fight off whatever that blood thing was and her oxygen level, oxygen levels had dropped drastically three or four times. I mean, basically my mom saw Jesus four times before he decided I'm going to Jesus. Um, the doc told us he basically brought her back from the dead four times. And, um, we were, me and my sisters were faced with the fact that we had to decide whether or not to resuscitate my mom the fifth time. I said, you know, mom's a fighter. You know, we gave her the fourth time as the fight. For all we know, Jesus was trying to take her and we were trying to keep her here at being selfish. So we let my mom decide where she wanted to go. My mom chose Jesus. Ain't nothing wrong with that. My mom was ready. There is nothing left unsaid with us and our mother ever. So I feel good about that. I broke down. I still have breakdowns. Why? Because she's my mom. I'm going to miss my mom. My mom was pretty healthy. I mean, my mom, you know, had some complications. She had diabetes. You know, she had a back surgery last year. She was actually getting ready to go to an appointment with my sister for a back surgery consultation for surgery she was supposed to have yesterday. And she didn't make it to that appointment. Now, when we and my sister talked about it, and both my sisters talked about it, we said, well, I would rather um, mom have gone the way she went she went to the hospital. She was on a respirator. She talked to all of us. She was coherent. You know, they gave her some, some medicine. She was on a respirator. She squeezed my sister's hand. Um, she shook her head. And she knew all her kids knew there. And she, you know, Jesus probably put his hand out and said, I'm ready for my soldiers to come back. And my mom always said, when Jesus comes to get me, I'm going. So with that, we all feel a little bit better. Don't get me wrong. I was a mess. I was a real big mess. It's not easy losing your mother. I lost my father almost 16 years ago. It'll be 16 years on Christmas. And now my mom in November, she just had a birthday. She got to vote. Um, that was great, um, which is amazing. And yeah, you know, up until today, I was having a hard time every 15, 20 minutes trying not to break down and seeing the outpour of love that's been coming in from other people that would still make me break down, you know? And uh, if you saw me in my post, you would see me pause, you know? Um, that pause has gotten a little bit better, but I'm sure I'm gonna have even more breakdowns. Right now we've been so busy with the memorial service planning and the celebration of life, I should say. Going to be in West Palm Beach um, on the 19th. And we got friends and family we haven't seen in a minute um, that are coming, pastors, I got friends flying in from Cali all the way to Florida to be with me on that day and the family. Um, so, yeah, you know, anybody who's ever lost a parent that you love understands what I'm talking about. Understands that it's tough, even though she's in a better place now. She's in no pain now. But we're all going to be there someday. But my mom is always going to be around me. And she said, that's the kind of person and kind of spirit kind of soul she is she's always going to be here she's always going to be in my thoughts she's always going to be in my mind she's always going to be in the room she's always going to be looking over me always praying for me like she always did and protecting all three of her children me and my sister Tanisha and my sister Miriam just like our mom my mom gave us anything that money can't buy you know the love the the knowledge the strength, the will, a lot of things that are priceless. And for that, I thank her tremendously. And like I said, she'll never be gone. She's like Yoda. She's in a better and a stronger place now than she was when she was on this earth. So just a little note on the Tim Stevenson show. I know we're in an election week and it's a little crazy. And I would, you know, minds and spirits and attitudes are flying left and right. I say ignore all that crap and, and realize you got a family and friends 
that, can, that are going to rise above all the BS. All the BS is just other people controlling what you think and what you feel. It's up to you to decide. Now, if you decide, you know, to choose one way or the other, that's your choice. I don't really care. I can have a beer with someone I don't agree with. Period. Doesn't matter. Labels mean nothing. And at the end of the day, it's about humanity. If we can do that, we can make this world better and better and better. This is Tim Stevenson from The Tim Stevenson Show. Just a little thought from the mind today. Be blessed.